Hello, friends and family. How are you today? Today, um, will be just a random talking about cannibalism. Um, actually, it is a picture I saw um, in a. I think it's Apple. Epoch News somewhere. They were showing a human remain, human remain among all the animals like beef. Uh, yeah, along the, uh, among the dead beef, and they said they were treated as beef. So that human remain look very thin. Yeah, when I was in medical school, I dealt with bodies. I saw the big fat ones, the old and the uh, skinny ones, like that thin remain. Um, that got to be a young girl. Um, I don't want to even think what that young girl went through before she went into a slaughterhouse. Um, yeah, I saw it many times. Guys, professors telling me, if you dare to not follow whatever I say, die! And I heard the news about the disappeared girls who were not even a case. And I guess recently there was a case about the found 18 ton of uh, human bone remain from a professor's lab or so, something like that. I don't want to go deep into it because it's um horrible <laughs> really horrible oh my gosh it's so scary what i want to say about that it's um uh, each time my son wanted to go to china saying mama i want to see china so badly i want to see my heritage i i I really like that place. Let's go together. So first of all, we cannot afford that trip. Um, second of all, are you sure you want to go there as a dirty child's kid? Um, I bet that's where those unknown bodies come from. I love China, I love China. Oops. <laughs> just disappeared. Um, well, not that bad, I guess, because we, we do have connections in China. Um, my parents are uh, educators for many years, communist educators, um, working school system. I guess they will look at, for sake of their hard work, for so many years, um, probably let us live, but uh, you never know. They're communists. Oh well. And recently, I heard about Xi Jinping was having problems. Uh, one thing saying that uh, he had a liver transplantation. I don't know whether he had alcoholic cirrhosis. Um, that liver transplantation wasn't his problem. That is how uh, they said Prime Minister Li Keqiang died. Um, then they said he had um, something, pan pancre pancreatic cancer. That's how Steve Jobs died at 56. And 
and uh, um, he did liver transplantation. So, uh, mm, and other things, all kinds of rumors. Looks like a lot of people don't want him to be good, right? It's like with all those rumors, if anybody just went up and strangle him and say, oh, those rumors came true. He was supposed to have a liver transplantation. It wasn't successful. Well, I guess everybody will just have to believe it, right? Um, yeah. I wish him lived through this difficult time. After all, he was surrounded by thugs. And you know how wrong Xi Jinping was? He was wrong, wrong, wrong. Who said he could let the Chen woman who had eight children um, let her store story go public during the time of Winter Olympic. Who said he he insists on putting that tension for girls getting beaten, beaten case, beaten to death case public? And who says he could ask his colleagues or or accomplices save that red dress girl let her say everything all over the world if only that red dress girl was dead oh my gosh his small little group did a number to communist party and are you sure he's not an anti-communist isn't that huge mistakes? And plus, the Chinese economy is bad, so it's all his fault. And uh, uh, the fight of diplomacy, it's all his fault. Although he went to Los Angeles, and went to San Francisco, all smiley and friendly, it's all his fault, of course. Um, and such as those, those. Uh, uh, cannibalism situation, how come under his control, under his government, Chinese people dare to let those news out? Isn't that his fault? Isn't that his big fault? If he doesn't die, people would have, might have more rights, right? Well, it's like, I, I, I think as somebody said, everybody's player and everybody's pawn. Um, fingers crossed that uh, um, there will be some conscientious people in Chinese government. So Chinese people, um, less people get eaten there. And also don't buy beef in China. You don't know what what kind of uh, meat that actually is. Also, uh, also, uh, mm, yeah, that is, uh, I, I do believe, pers personal opinion, eating human flesh is the uh, best way to transmit COVID. I think that's why COVID is still going in China and it's going worse. The, the more variants, tougher variants coming up is because eating human flesh. Um, that's all what I want to babble about today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in next one. Bye-bye.